Thank you for joining us today. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. For prayer or information, you may email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is No Other Image. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4 reads, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. So my beloved, there are several reasons why idolatry is forbidden. The most obvious is that the triune creator is too great to attempt to visualize. You can read that in Exodus chapter 30. Four verses 5 through 7. There is no other thing or experience in human existence that can represent the immortal and invisible creator. You can read that in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. Therefore, my beloved, God sees any effort to picture him, which is idolatry, as rebellion. You can read that in the book of Jeremiah chapter 5 verses 19 through 25. So my beloved, it doesn't matter how we may attempt to see God. Any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, are all totally incapable of expressing God's person. And you can read that in the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. Now, in Romans chapter 1 verses 18 through 32, Paul reveals the heart of an idolater. Those who hold the truth in unrighteousness will not glorify God as God, even though they know him by the creation itself. Instead, they change God's inestimable glory into an earthly creature and consciously change God's truth into a lie. So therefore, my beloved, by open choice and willing rebellion, idolaters worship and serve the creature rather than the creator. Therefore, abandoning God for a despicable and unnatural lust, for an ungodliness that in turn causes them to despise the very thought of God and their knowledge. So ultimately, my beloved, the only pleasure they can find is among other idolaters. In Acts chapter 17, verses 22 through 29, Paul taught the philosophers that the heart of idolatry is rejection of God as creator. Idolatry, in any form or practice, strikes at the heart of salvation because he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You can read that in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. So my beloved, nothing should be esteemed above God. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your message today. We know that at times we fall short and put created things before you, our creator. Help us not to do so. Convict us when we do. And we thank you, Father God, for blessing us and keeping us in your care. In Jesus' name, we pray and thank you. Amen. My beloved, have a great week.